Now, this is a vital point. Philip was shown that Jesus warned that there would be those who believed and even went through baptism but were never saved. So what does Philip do? He begins to emphasize something, and we see that in this next presentation. Look, what, look, look at the little addition to Philip's sharing. You notice he picked up what Peter said, that there are many who will say to be Lord, Lord, but don't do the will of the Father in heaven. There are many that will say, I know you, but they still practice lawlessness. That's Matthew 7, 21 and 23. You can bet Peter referred to that when he was talking to Philip. He says, Philip, is this puzzling you? This guy came forward. This guy got baptized. You baptized him, but he's a dud. He's, not, he's a misfire. He's not really saved. And Philip said, what did I do wrong? He said, Jesus once said, Matthew 7, 21 and 23. It's not everybody who prays the prayer. It's not everybody who goes through the motions. It's those who begin to do the will of my Father in heaven. See, that's what conversion is. I change from doing the will of the God of this world to being supernaturally energized to do the will of God. And I stop practicing as my, as my default setting lawlessness and sin, and I begin to go through the agonizing Christian life. Did you know the Christian life is agonizing? It is. That's, that's Paul's description, agonizing. So how does that affect Philip? Well, Philip opened his mouth. He began the scripture. He preached Jesus to him. And as they went down the road, here comes some water. And Philip's going, oh, no. Oh, I don't want Peter to come and reject this one. And so the eunuch says, hey, here's water. What hinders me from being baptized? And Philip said, hoo if you believe with all your heart, if, this, if you're really, really, and, and, and he probably spent some time standing up in that chariot explaining it to him. Well, Jesus said that truly saved people turn from doing their own will and going their own way to doing God's will and God's way. And you say, that sounds impossible. Well, it's humanly impossible, but it's only those, as Jesus said, that are born from above, that are truly saved. And here's the summary after six gospel presentations. This is what the gospel is. Really repent. Turn away from iniquity. Be saved from sins by God's forgiveness. By the way, God does all of those things. And by believing with all your heart. That's the response of faith to the gospel.